Welcome back, friends, to another video made by yours truly, Miss Marina. We are going to be discussing bird beaks and feet. So first we're going to start out with types of beaks, and then we'll move on to feet. So the first type of beak that we are covering today is a cracker beak. A cracker beak is really just used to crack things open, just the way it sounds. So think about seeds and um, maybe maybe nuts uh, for the bird to crack open. So I want you to look closely at the next three pictures that pop up on your screen. You're going to see three different types of birds with all of the same type of beak, the cracker beak. So the first one is a finch, and if you look at it, they have a cone-like beak that's kind of sharp at the end, but it gets wider towards their eyes. And if you look at the next picture, which is a cardinal, the cardinal has the almost the exact same beak shape um, and they eat the same food which makes sense and finally the last one is a sparrow which looks almost identical to the other two beak shapes the next type of beak we're covering is a strainer beak a strainer beak is, is exactly like it sounds like just like the cracker beak a strainer beak is strains things so think of a pasta strainer when you make pasta you put the pasta in the strainer um, to dump out or to strain out the water and so a bird also strains out water from their beaks specifically birds that usually eat their food within water so like shrimp um, and so some types of birds that have strainer beaks are ducks and spoon bills which are really cool their bill looks like a spoon and finally a flamingo also has a strainer beak and so they strain out all of the particles in the water that they can eat or small small little animals that they can eat and then get rid of the water okay and the third beak is a spearing beak and it's yet again exactly like it sounds like a spear so if you think of a spear a spear is a sharp sharp tool um, that is kind of long um, and so if you think of a spear when people spear things they usually kind of stab through them um, and so a bird has a spearing beak a bird that usually spears things would be an egret or a heron which is this picture here or my absolute favorite which has the really long sharp beak a kingfisher who stabs right through their prey which is crazy the fourth beak is a chisel beak. A chisel beak, you can kind of think of a chisel um, chipping away at something, right? So a tool chipping away at something. A woodpecker has a chisel beak. And I can only really think of one bird for this one, although I'm sure there are many types of birds that have chisel beaks. All right, and the last beak we're covering today is a tearing beak. And so you can also think of this as a shredder beak or... Um, a beak that really just rips things apart and so most birds that hunt their prey would be um, birds of prey okay that's what they're called um, and so some types of birds of prey are hawks and eagles and owls and so they use their sharp beaks like this hawk here to rip their prey apart after they catch it and so you see this eagle as well has a really pointy pointy beak and finally the sawwet owl which is one of the cutest owls i've ever seen it's the size of a cup um, has a really really sharp beak all right and then so that covers our beaks we're going to be talking about feet now the first type of uh, foot we are talking about would be a webbed foot. A webbed foot is usually used to swim. So in this picture that is about to pop up, you'll see that there's webbing or there is skin between their toes, right? And what the skin between their toes allows them to do is to swim quickly through water. If they didn't have those that skin between their toes, they wouldn't be able to swim as fast. So most birds that live in water have webbed feet. And the next one is a grasping foot or a gripping foot. A gripping foot is normally used by birds of prey, which is what we just mentioned was eagles, owls, hawks. Um, there's a couple more, but I like to stick to those three different types. So birds of prey with their sharp beaks also have gripping feet. Their gripping feet are used to hold onto their prey as they fly away. So if you think of an eagle, 
holding onto a mouse as it's flying through the air. Sometimes they really have to grip on. So here's the picture of their sharp talons gripping on to imagine what would be food in between their toes. The grasping foot is also used uh, by birds that hold on to their prey as they rip their prey apart. So think about those sharp beaks that I mentioned. Um, they hold on to their prey with their foot, kind of like an ice cream cone, and then they rip it apart with their beak. The third type of foot is a perching foot, and these are for birds that like to perch up on, you know, telephone poles or telephone wires, uh, on trees, and so if they like to just kind of sit on branches, they have to be able to balance quite well. And so perching feet um, have a toe in the back and three toes in the front, like the picture in front of you now. So that toe in the back is really helping them stabilize or stay still as they balance on things. And the last type of foot we're covering today are walking and running feet. So um, there's really only one bird that I can think of that has this type of foot, and that is an ostrich. An ostrich uses its two toes, like the picture in front of you that you can see, to sprint and run. Um, and so they run quite quickly, and they are a very, very large bird. Uh, so they use those two toes to really stabilize themselves into the ground and sprint and run. Just like we have big toes to help us walk, they have big toes two toes really to help them run all right and that is all we have uh for birds beaks and feet it is time to record your work like the screen says so what i'm going to ask from you is that you um, can draw different types of feet to record your work you may also draw a diagram of the beaks and feet um, you may also do three-part cards which are available in the google drive as always, if you can think of something creative to record your work, please feel free to do so. Um, otherwise, I'm excited to see what you record. Talk to you guys later. Bye.